We had a question today from Becky, and Becky wants to know, she has a blog, and she has brands that want to sponsor her blog who want to put a pixel on her entire website so that they can track the posts that they're sponsoring. She wants to know if that's a good idea and what I thought about that and then what she can do to keep the blog brand happy and get this contract. So I'm going to walk you through the steps. One, I want to say, don't <laughs> give away the keys to your castle. Instead of putting the pixel on your entire blog, offer to give the blog sponsor, your, your post sponsor, a custom URL, scraping all of the pixel data for just to the URL that they are sponsoring, rather than all of the content on your blog. And let me show you how you can do that. And to start, you're going to need to know three things. One, you're going to want to have a brand manager um, account. To do that, I would suggest having your spouse or someone you know, love, trust, manage your page for you as the owner. So you're going to need to have a business manager account. Sorry, did I say brand manager? I meant business manager. My brain's all muddled. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Business manager account. <laughs> so you're going to, one, want to have a business manager account. Two, you're going to need to create a custom audience, custom conversion audience based on your website. The third thing you're gonna to need to do is learn how to share that custom audience that you created. And I'm gonna show you the last two tricks on how to get that done. First, we're gonna to want to go into here and we're going to create an audience. And we do that with the custom conversions. This is where I'm gonna say, I wanna create a custom audience of everyone who visited a specific website, web page on my site. So go to custom conversions. And now we're going to go and say, create a custom conversion. And I'm gonna to go to the URL contains. I'm gonna pull up just a random URL from my website here. Okay, we're gonna just do this lemon one right here. URL contains, and I'm literally going to just copy this right into there. That's it, come on. And now we're gonna hit next. And I'm gonna call this, lemon parsley post or no it was smelly rooms right diy smell post okay and for me whenever i do this i would put the brand's name here that way i know it's the brands and i would give them a time limit that you're starting and ending so i will give you access to this for 30 days so i would say the brand name of the brand and then i would write down here the date it ends so if the, their 60 days or 90 days is up, say September 12th, you've got that down. So now you know you can delete this custom audience September 12th, okay? And I'm gonna go on and hit create. Now if this is a product that is for sale, I would set a custom conversion value. That's where I could say, hey, this is gonna cost, every time someone's at this page, it's $19.99 or whatever, but I'm not doing that because this is not a post that's selling something. Okay, so now you just hit create, and voila, it creates a custom audience. There it is. You can see it right here. Whoop, where did it go? There it is, right here, you can see it. Right there. It's the name of the brand, ends, DIY smell post, okay? That is the, the audience. Now let's go back in and we're gonna go share the audience. Now this one's gonna take time to populate. So we're gonna use just an audience that I've already created. You cannot share saved audiences, but you can share custom audiences that you've created. And this one we made, I just showed you how to make from a website. Okay, so here are the audiences that we've made, right? Well, here's the catch though. I cannot share these because I am writing from a personal page. So you can see here, I've got this account that I could share as from my audience, from, my, from the page that's visited my Teachable account. I can go over here and it says I can share it, but if I click on it, I can't because it says I need to ha use something that's not a personal Facebook account. I need to use something from my business manager. Okay, so if you're looking to have your page um, where you're sharing a custom audience, you will wanna have business manager set up. And that's something that I suggest having set up through your spouse or someone else that's not you and then making yourself the admin on the account. So if you trust your husband, make him the owner, trust your husband, I'm sorry, it came out wrong, but um, make him the owner of the page 
through the business manager and then you the admin who runs it because you can't, there's a lot of things you can't do um, from the business manager. So just something to think about. So, okay, now here's another catch though. So this one I couldn't share because I'm not business manager, but let's say this one, let's say I am a business manager. Would I be able to share this one, which is, I'm calling it Stu's girl. Stu's one of my friends um, and I, one of my, and these are the girls he looks up to, the female marketers that he looks up to. I'm going to go here. I cannot share this audience because it's a saved audience. This isn't an audience that's a custom from my website. So it's not something that I own, it's more something that I've collected from Facebook. So I can't share that. However, I can make a list of that targeting and give it to him, right? But And then he can target the same people, right? But he, this one that down here, the Teachable Global Audience, I actually own the traffic on my website. So I can own and I can share that one. But I need to do this from a business manager account. So over here, I have a business manager account, my Moolah marketer account. You can make a business manager account that then owns your other assets. And now in here, you can see my audiences. And look, here's a global one that visited my website. I can say, go over here and I can click share. And I can now enter either an ID or a name or an email that I can then send this to. I can send this to another person. And then they will go into their ad account and they will be able to see this um, custom audience. So if you are a blogger and you're trying to share your custom audience, you're going to want to do a couple things, right? You're going to want to one, be on business manager, um, put your spouse or someone you know and love and trust um, on business manager as the owner of your page. Then you're going to want to uh, make yourself the admin. You're going to want to make the custom audience from your, with a custom you conversion and the view content using your URL. So it's just pixeling that direct URL, that direct post. And then you go on in here and you share your audience. Okay, any questions, reach out in the Moolah group.